so you've just unlocked some Arpeggio content by completing some missions? Congratulations! You've just received a free ship and commander with a few skills. But where is it? You don't see it anywhere. Have Wargaming gone cheap on you? No way mate. You just need to switch ports. You know that blue anchor in the top left of screen that you've never bothered with? Click it. Here are all the available port backgrounds that make no difference apart from cosmetics. Apart from one. Yes, that one. Click Yokosuka. Now look at that. Assuming you've already completed the missions, you'll have an extra ship or two in your lineup. You can now use them just like normal ships. They are not premium though. They still earn you the regular amount of credits and free XP. But, the captains don't require e-training for you to switch them between your Arpeggio ships. You'll also see other Arpeggio ships and battles now if you keep this port selected. Now just to be clear here, this stuff is entirely optional. If you are not an Arpeggio fan that's fine, you don't have to use or even see this stuff in game. Just use a port other than Yokosuka, as soon as you change the port, that stuff will be out of sight faster than you can say. If you don't like the character voices in game, turn them off in the audio settings. Otherwise, delete the Arpeggio folder from your Resources Banks folder if you don't want to change volumes. If you're a diehard fan and absolutely have to have more though, you're in luck. You can download skins from the forum to turn a lot of other ships into Arpeggio style ones like this. Just put them correctly into your ResMods folder and you'll have rainbow colored battleships every game, even if you haven't unlocked any of the official stuff. Now you can delete broadside scrubs with any kind of rainbow ship. That's all for this guide. Now go sit at all the crap out of a Wyoming with your new Arpeggio Congo, and enjoy.